Hey, what's going on guys? Matisse Hawthorne here and I'm bringing you a custom build today. We got no theme, no real plan. We're just gonna go in and send it and then uh, let's go get it done. All right guys, so we're back in the warehouse. So we're gonna start picking out the parts and I was gonna start with the deck, but it seems a little too busy down there. So let's go with the headset. I'm just gonna do a color that not a lot of people use. Um, I don't even know if you guys know that we have these, but we're gonna go with the Odyssey integrated headset in hot pink. So this isn't like a faded type of pink. This is a bright in your face type of pink. So we're gonna go with that and we're gonna try and match uh, two other parts with it. I mean, since we're here, we might as well just choose the grip tape. Uh, we're gonna go with the Vault logo drip grip tape. I think that's what it's called. Um, but it goes like a nice little like faded pink into like a purplish blue color. So that will work. We're gonna move down to the wheels and I'm gonna choose the Proto Plasma wheels in a hot pink. Um, these wheels are pretty sick. If you don't know, they have um, clear urethane. So you can see all the way through. And that's pretty sweet right there. Now that we have these, we'll move on throughout the warehouse and just pick as we go. I'm gonna choose the Tilt Tomahawk in gold. It runs 120s. Even though these wheels aren't 120s, um, it could run any. So if you do happen to buy this scooter and you don't want these wheels, you can run some, one, you can run some 120s. Let's add some more pink to my hands. We're gonna get the ODI softies in a hot pink, and then we're gonna be running some different bar ends. I'm gonna put this back on the table over there. The gold fork, so we're not running a usual color scheme, it's just kind of random, just kind of thought about it. So let's hope that this all works. Let's go pick out the deck. I'm gonna be using uh, one of the new decks that we just got in. It is the AOS V5. If you know me, you probably knew I was gonna choose this. So we got the Flavio Presenti. It's more of like a sparkly black. That's kind of different. Um, oh, we're at the bars, yes. I didn't want to go with some tie bars, but I just couldn't find any other like glossy black bar to match this deck. So today, back in stock, we're gonna be running the Vault. Get over here. <sighs> Vault satin black tie bars. Let's go put this over there on the table. <laughs> wow so now all that we're missing is just the bar ends hic kit uh we're gonna run hic and the clamp so let's go get that all right so we are gonna go with the tilt arc clamp in a gold yeah that's it right there i want to use that one and then go with the Envy Alloy Bar Ends in a Black. I forgot that I'm running HIC, so I forgot to write down an HIC kit. So I gotta go check that out right now. Okay. Make sure that we got one in stock. Yeah, definitely check that. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's send that. Should be down here. And... Huh. There we go. All right, so I'm pretty sure we got everything that we need. Yeah. All right, we're good. So we can go back to the studio and then build this up for you guys. So let's go. All right, guys, now that we're back in the studio, we're just gonna go over the parts real quick. So to start it off, we got the TV bars in black, TV drip logo grip tape, NV AOS V5 Flavio Presenti deck, hot pink Odyssey headset, hot pink ODI grips, NV alloy bar ends in black, we got a tilt art clamp in gold, clear on pink protoplasma wheels, and then lastly we got the tilt tomahawk in gold. So now that we've covered all the parts, let's just start building. Of course we're gonna go and start with the grip tape, so I'm gonna put these on the floor actually. I'm writing this exact deck, so this deck comes 5.5 by 22. So it's like that perfect size for someone that's like, that wants to get like a bigger scooter, but not six wide, obviously. We're gonna do a full deck grip tape, of course. And we're gonna be using this new grip tape. Comes six by 24. So perfect for like most decks. All right, I'm gonna place it down like that. So we just cut through the, the head tube. Now we need some, you know what? The tool's probably in here. You mean in the toolbox? Yeah, I mean, that would make sense. So I'm actually happy with this uh, choice of grip tape that I went with. Um, this second batch of the Vault grip tape, it's a lot better quality than, I guess, the first one. The first one, it was pretty good, but I just wouldn't 
really want to use it. This grip tape right here is a lot better quality. So if you're kind of on the fence about getting some vault grip tape, I'd definitely send it now. All right. If you were also on the fence about getting an Envy deck just because of the uh, plastic inserts, I would honestly just go with it. This is probably one of the best decks that I've ridden besides the tilt theory. And I've ridden a lot of parts. I haven't had any problems with it. And if you see any of the blunt riders, uh, they definitely kill it. So a uh, fun fact, if you didn't know, he probably didn't, I don't know why you would know this, but uh, I've actually ridden every single AOS deck all the way down from the first one and they just seem to be getting ugh, seem to be getting better and better. One thing that I like to do at least is I always punch out the hole and I cut a little like circle around the brake bolt just because um, since the bolt likes to sit on top of the grip tape, um, usually when you tighten it all the way, it kind of like takes the grip tape with it and like peels it apart. Uh, it's just something that I like to do. Slide that in. Perfect. All right, we're gonna use this wheel for the back just because the little bearing spacer isn't moving. Let's make it a lot easier to put it on. There we go. I'm gonna go with the riding on the left side. So if you're regular, I guess, I don't know what side it's supposed to be on, but if you want to flip, you can flip it yourself, but I'm gonna leave the riding on the left side. Let's push that in there and we are good. All almost done. All right, so let's move on to the headset and the fork. And actually, you know what? We're gonna put the wheel on. We might as well. There we go. That's how we do it. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. I completely forgot about the riding on the side, but it turned out okay, because it's on the left. Hopefully this just slides in. I don't wanna have to bang it in. It's in there, let's go. So we're gonna move on to the top bearing. And then you just slide it in there like that. Perfect, how does that look? Yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. I think I would ride this. Yeah, yeah, I would. We're gonna put our HIC kit on, get on there. All right, so we're gonna grease up this bolt. Hopefully it's long enough just cause lucky HIC kits come pretty, pretty tall. Oh, yes. And there we go. Dang it. Stop, yeah. Yep, needs a little headset spacer. We got the two mil that came with it. Yeah, thankfully. The Odyssey headset comes with three different size spacers. So if you know you need a spacer, like if you're gonna run SES, um, I would definitely run this headset. It's a, one of the best headsets and I definitely back it. And it's all in like the same color. So if you order like a neon yellow headset, which I think this comes in, uh, you get neon yellow spacers, which is pretty cool. So we're just gonna throw that in there and then throw this headset back on top so that the scooter can actually spin. Perfect. We almost got a finished scooter. It's actually going by pretty quick. Tie bars need a relief hole, which is like a little little dot on the on the side of the bar. And I uh, so I was sharpening out where the slit should be in like the relief hole, and I wasn't really measuring it out, I just kind of guessed. Made it a little bit too short. And today we bring you two relief holes, not one, two. That's pretty special, if you ask me. That's two for one. I mean you're probably not even gonna see the first one, it's gonna be covered. Get in there. Well, I'm gonna slam it down on the floor. Oh, get on there. There we go. All right, so let's put the grips on and the bar ends and then we'll be pretty much done. Last but not least is the Envy bar ends. Um, pretty simple, just gotta put them in, tighten them up, and then we will have a finished scooter. Woo! All right.
All right, so final thoughts of this scooter. Um, it's actually pretty, like, pretty nice. ODI Softies, these are kind of underrated. They used to be pretty overrated, but now not many people use them. Um, it's all about that Envy Grip or Native or whatever, but I, I always love these. I really love this headset. I've been wanting to use this ever since I saw it, and I saw it probably like half a year ago. This is pretty similar to the scooter that I ride. It's more of like a hybrid type scooter. Um, so if you wanted to do like park tricks or street tricks, it's perfect for both. I don't really like the whole like, oh, I'm park or he's street. Like I can't do street tricks because I got a pandemonium deck. That doesn't really matter. It's just scootering. You can do whatever you want. But yeah, all in all, the scooter is pretty, pretty nice. I love how it came out. So you guys have seen what it looks like. Let's go see if it's dialed. All right, so that was pretty dialed. Um, I'm sure you guys thought so too. So let's go to the warehouse and see what all the homies in there think about it. Wait, Ephraim. I know you don't like to. I don't want to bother him because, you know, I like my job. Not bother him. Wow. Yeah. Interesting color choice. I like it though. It's... The deck has not, a lot more like... Not what I would have picked. Yeah, by, uh, definitely by any not. Means, but it's still <laughs> not looking good though. It has a lot of things that tie in together, so it works. I like it. Good job. Thanks. See ya. Yeah, he didn't like it at all. I know he didn't. <laughs> Joshua, let me know what you think. Definitely a different color scheme than uh, <laughs> what we usually go with. But uh, I think it came together pretty nice. One thing that I really like is it's got that metal, metal flake paint job in there. Yeah. You don't see that with scooter parts very often. I'd right. say it came out pretty nice. Thanks, buddy. Oh. All right, let's move on upstairs. This is quite the color combo you got going here, Matisse. I'm not gonna lie to you. Not gonna lie to you either. What made you do pink with the gold and black? Just on honestly. Color? Just because it doesn't get used. It was almost time to film and I had to choose something. I really like it. I like the pink. The gold looks cool. And you're riding the deck, which is... Did you tell me you're riding the deck? Oh, I told him. Told I them? told him. It's pretty sweet. I like it. Good job. Well, that's pretty much everyone here. All right, we'll head back to the studio. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Um, I really love the color and how it came out. Um, but if you guys didn't, if you guys thought I should have switched something out, or if you guys did like it, uh, just let me know. Let me hear in the comments or DM me on Instagram. That has been it, guys. Follow us on all of our socials. Uh, comment, like, all that good stuff that you guys usually do. And we'll see you guys next time.